I'm going to show you how you set up or hook up your Screen B Mini 2, which is a wireless display receiver. Uh, for short, for wireless display, it would be Y-Die. And I'm going to I'm going to hook I'm hook this up, and I'm going to show you how, how to hook it up to your Android phone, as well as your laptop. And of course, this uh, it'll basically mirror what's ever on your uh, Android phone to your HD TV. And the same thing with the laptop. And this is wireless, no cables, guys. So first thing is, let me show you the components really quick. Basically, uh, this is what it comes with right here. And this is the actual uh, Y-Die receiver right here. And it comes with another plug here, a USB. What you do first is you hook this up to your HDMI port. And then you, and the USB uh, plug here is for power. So you need to plug this into your USB port uh, if you have one in the back of the TV or in your computer or pretty much anywhere. If you don't have a USB port anywhere, then you can simply, it also comes with a, um, a wall adapter as well. You just plug it in, plug it into the, uh, the wall. And it does come with an extender here, guys. So basically what this is, is um, uh, just in case if your uh, HDMI port in the back of your TV is hard to get to, what you, need to, what you can do is just plug it in once and then you have like an extender. So then you can plug this device in or any other device. It's just an extender, just easier accessibility. So why don't we go ahead and plug this into the back of my TV first. And then after that, I'm going to show you, uh, I guess I'm going to go ahead and mirror and I'm going to play some, uh, I'll play some games. Uh, I'll watch Netflix. Of course, you can watch, you know, look at your uh, videos, photos. You can watch movies. You can watch Amazon, video, Netflix. And I'll do some of that. Okay, so on the back of my HDTV here, now we can see that I have... Uh, several HDMI ports. I have one, two, three. They're all empty. I'm just going to plug it into any one of them. I'll just plug it in this one here. And the USB port, I do have a USB port which is right there on top. And this is going to provide the wireless display uh, receiver power. So I'm going to plug that in as well. Okay, so I just put my TV on. Now what I have to do is I have to go to input, which is right here on my on my remote. So I'm gonna click on input. And then I have to go to the HDMI port where the wider receiver, where the Screen B Mini 2 is in. And obviously you can see that it is in uh, HDMI uh, port number four because it's highlighted. So I'll go down to four, oh, number four and I'll push on enter. Okay, now the screen beam is already uh, on in the HDMI in the back of my my uh, HD TV, and it says ready to connect. So why don't we go ahead and connect the? Let me connect the phone here. Okay, now here is a Samsung Galaxy S6, and uh, as long as your phone has a screen mirroring capabilities, then you'll be able to screen beam your Android wirelessly directly to your HD TV. Now. It depends on uh, what phone brand that you have because it's not, it, for example, um, you know, all the Galaxy, uh, you know, the S3, S4, S5, S6, even the Notes 2, 3, 4, 5, they have a screen mirroring feature. And what they call it is exactly that, screen mirroring. Now, some of the other uh, brand phones, the, you know, they might not call it screen mirroring. It may be called like media output or cast screen or all share screen or screen share or smart view or screen mirror. So let me go ahead and just hook this up. So what do you do here is uh, you, I'm going to click on screen mirroring here and, and how I get here I simply scroll down on my S6 and it's the same thing with all the Galaxy uh, Samsung Galaxy series. Scroll down I'm going to click on edit and then right there you see screen mirroring so I'm going to go ahead and click on that and that and it's already connecting me automatically because I connected before, but it popped up this receiver name before on here and I would just have to click, click it and it'll connect it. So give us a second. It says magic is about to happen. And we are in like Flint, okay? So pretty much anything on here I can mirror. Uh, let's do this. Let's, um, uh, I'm gonna show you this first and then we'll go ahead and mirror uh, my the, the laptop. But let's go ahead and uh, let's watch Netflix here. Okay, let me just pick any movie. <clears throat> I just pick uh, Better Call Saul on here. And we're going to push on play. 
and of course the audio and everything comes out will come out directly from your HDTV or if you have a surround sound or sound system hook up to your HDTV. Yeah, that's uh. Guys, just relax, all right? Well, I'm just fuzzy as to why you think he needs a lawyer. I mean, Craig, the way you run your office. Awesome, huh? So let me go ahead and pause that. And now let's go ahead, for example purposes, let me go ahead and just play a game really fast. Click on that racing fever. Okay, I think you get the message with, with, with that. But of course you can also look at photos, videos. But let's go ahead and hook up the laptop. Okay, so here's my laptop and basically how I set this up is I would have to, and I'm using Windows 8.1, but uh, let me show you what you have to do to set this up. Basically, um, go down here and click on the uh, start button and we're gonna go up to search here and we're gonna click, look for just type in devices. And then from here we can just click on device settings here. And I already have it connected here guys. Let me go ahead and just like remove it. And I'll show you how to connect it. Because all you have to do is connect it once and every time you, you uh, power up your, um, your laptop it'll automatically connect. So now we'll go ahead and pretend it's the first installation. So we'll click on add device here. And then we'll look for, right here, the SWB, that's it right there. And you know it's SWB because it says right here, receiver name, the SWB. So now it's connecting you now. Magic is about to happen. Okay, great. So now if I look down, I can see right down on the very bottom here, it says uh, that's the SW, uh, SWD under projectors. So now what I can do is, let me just go back into my windows here. <clears throat> and you can see everything is on here now. Uh, another thing is too, if I hold down the uh, windows button and the letter P is in Peter, this will pop up and I can duplicate my screen and I can also extend my screen. So for example, let me go ahead and extend my screen. And if I extend my screen, I now have this. I can move it over just like this. So that's pretty much it. Any questions or anything, comment below. Uh, in regards to the screen beam, I'll put a link in the below where I got it. I got it on Amazon. If you have questions, let me know, guys. And if you guys subscribe, that'll be great, too. Thanks. Bye.